Hey, hey, what's up, people? Welcome to a new video. Just need to make sure this shit is recording. Give me a second, you guys see me? You see me? All right, fantastic. All right, guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Dapo Willis. As you already know now, guys, today I want to just address a very important question I, keep, I seem to get asked all the time, especially from people who have no idea about what trading is. The question goes, is trading gambling? Is it gambling? Are we gamblers, right? Are we just some advanced form of gamblers, right? So that's exactly what I want to discuss today. But before I get into the nitty gritties of the video, you already know what you need to do. Please, I play my part, you play your part. Just smash the subscribe button, hit a like, just hit the like right there. And don't forget to drop me a comment at the end of the video or even right now because it helps the channel grow. I'm trying to grow a community here, I'm trying to come on here. It takes a lot of research, effort, Guys, trust me, half the time I just want to trade and just relax. However, I know I have a duty to you guys who are on my channel and my community to obviously come on here and impact and continue to provide value. So it takes a lot from me to do this. That's what I'm trying to say. So please subscribe and hit the like button. So um, back to the topic of today. Um, sorry, I just need to adjust my shirt. I think I prefer my shirt when it's like this. Hey, give me a second, let me button this. Let me see, do I look good? Look good, all right, cool. <laughs> all right guys, so back to the question of today. Is trading gambling? First of all, what the hell is gambling? We all know what gambling is. Gambling is simply, simply when you walk into a casino and then you come out with no money, right? That's pretty much what gambling is. And um, the casino, pretty much is a game, right? The casino is a game whereby they give you the opportunity to take something um, something this small to something this big, right? And uh, they, they, they give you the, the machines, they give you the, the avenue, they give you the games, they give you everything, and you're supposed to, in your mind, guys, I don't like this, you're supposed to, in your mind, obviously, try and take your little money, your $1,000 to $10,000. That's pretty much what gambling is. Now, what exactly is the difference between gambling and trading? Because the Forex market is pretty much the same thing. You have endless opportunities out there. You know, you have different pairs to trade. You know, you, everybody wants to take this to this. You know, so it's pretty much the same framework. But what really dip differentiates Forex trading from gambling? I'll tell you what it is. When it comes to the casino and gambling, the casino is going to win you over a period of time because statistically, the casino works based on statistics. They know based on the games that they're giving to you, based on the odds, the probabilities, they know that they have an edge. The casinos usually have a 59% edge and the player usually has a 41% edge and there's nothing the, the player or anybody can do about it. That's just the way it is. Okay, so this is exactly why you see, don't forget, the player has 49%, okay, 41%, and the casino has 59% odds. So what's going to happen is, yes, the player will win 41% of the time. This is exactly why you see people going to the casino and make a crazy amount of money. They make crazy amounts of money. Why? Because they're still within that 41% of the time that they expected to win. However, the more they continue to gamble in the casino, I know I'm speaking about gambling, but I'll, I'll get into trading a little bit, right? So um, the more they continue to play in the casino, and the more they start to exhaust their 41% of their winning, things now start to turn around. So out of 10 games, the player is going to win four times and the casino is going to win six times. So yes, you can win your first four games. However, what happens? Fifth, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 10, 11, You've lost. Okay? So this is why casinos make a lot of money. Now, how, do, how does this relate to trading? I already said trading is a... I won't really say trading is gambling, but is a, is a form of... 
All right, cool. Trading is gambling. <laughs> I can't believe I just said that. However, however, the difference between trading and gambling is a very thin line. And this is the truth. You know my channel, I tell you guys the truth. It's a very thin line between trading and gambling. Very thin line between the both of them, right? So what's the difference between both of them? The difference is when it comes to trading, don't forget casinos, the probabilities is against the player. But when it comes to trading, depending on how well skilled the trader is. Now, we're talking about trading here. When it comes to trading, depending on how well skilled the trader is, the probabilities and the possibilities are greater on the side of the trader than the market. Now, how does this exactly work? First of all, the trader is very well technically skilled. The trader understands trends. You have to understand that in a casino, you don't see any trends, you don't see any, but as a trader, we get to see historical price action. This is why I always preach, preach price action. You get to see historical price action, and based on how the market has performed you know, in the past, we can basically use previous price performance to predict what's going to happen in the future, hereby increasing the odds in our favor. Number one. Second advantage that trading has over gambling. Risk management. As a gambler in the casino, gamblers, risk management doesn't really make any sense to them. But as traders, we know that, listen, yo, I can calculate 3% risk of my account. Okay, so if I have a $10,000 account, 3% of that is $300. I'm only going to stake this forward. Don't forget, we're staking this forward a significantly small amount of our account, okay, was sending it forward with a probability and a possibility of us making money on that trade being high because of the technical knowledge we have. So I'll take that again. First of all, we're risking risk. We, we have risk management as our beck and call. Like the only difference is a lot of people don't like to use risk management. So we have risk management, and because we're technically skilled, we see what happened in the past, we are basically geared in the most favorable position to predict the next possible outcome. Okay, so as you can see, as a trader, we're stacking the odds in our favor. First of all, we can predict a lot better than gamblers. Secondly, we have better risk management procedures than gamblers, and last, but not the least, you guys, as traders, we understand exactly where the hell we're going. We know we want to grow this account. Guys, 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 I like to believe that you guys know what you're going to with your trading because if there's anything that kills most forex traders is they don't know when to stop. They don't know when to redraw, okay? you should know when to redraw your money. Now guys, like I said again, there's a very thin line between trading and gambling. And this is why, because of this thin line, a lot of traders, first of all, are not skilled. A lot of traders, first of all, are not, they don't, they don't use proper risk management. So once you remove these two factors from trading, it becomes gambling. And this is why you tend to see a lot of traders start to cross over to the gambling aspect of things. First of all, they are risking, you know, risking $500 of a $1,000 account because they want to grow it to 5K, okay? That's ridiculous, okay? We as traders are expected to, be, to have realistic expectations. Gamblers don't have realistic expectations. Risk management, where our risk management is top-notch, we are better skilled, we can predict, we can analyze. This is a financial instrument, okay? I feel like I'm having a debate with somebody, right? This is a financial instrument. But guys, this is the truth. Like, we, 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 we're not gamblers. However, there are gamblers who are forex traders. Forex traders are not gamblers. There are gamblers who are forex traders. <laughs> so guys, the moment you start to remove all these elements like risk management, the moment you don't have proper education about, in fact, once you don't have proper education about this market, you're a gambler. You don't have risk management, you're a gambler. You don't know when to withdraw, you're a gambler. 
you cannot call yourself a trader except you are skilled. You have a strategy. Gamblers have no strategy. You have a strategy that works. Is it proven to work over time? You see, these are the things that they don't have in casinos. Okay? As a forex trader, we can test our strategy. I tell you what. Usually, a forex strategy works 75% of the time. Mine works 95% of the time because I'm a sniper trader. Like, guys, when I come to the market, the market knows something has hit it, right? So, let's say your strategy works 75% of the time. So, that means the remaining 25% of the time, you're going to experience losses. What this means is, out of 10 trades, you're going to win 7 times. The market is going to win you 3 times. Statistically, over time, you are expected to win. You will win. That's how it works. That's how Forex works. I'll take that again. A strategy that works 70% of the time means that you're going to win 7, seven, seven out of 10 trades. And then the remaining three trades, you're going to lose those trades to the market. Okay? And, yeah. So, statistically, after 10 trades, you've taken home seven winning trades and given three back to the market. At the end of the day, you're still a winner. There's another thing I want to add to this as well. Okay? As a Forex trader, this is a huge difference between trading and gambling. As a Forex trader, when we win, our risk to reward ratio is usually in our favor. I forgot to add this at the beginning, but thank God we're here. As a Forex trader, we're expected to have the minimum risk to reward ratio of a 2 to 1. What does this mean? It means that, so we said we win 7, the market, we win 7 and lose 3. The market wins the remaining 3, right? In this 7, for every trade we win, with a risk to reward of 3 to 1, let's say we're risking $100, if we are risking a hundred dollars, we're expected to make back three hundred dollars on every winning trade, and every losing trade we make was we make we're expected to lose only a hundred dollars. Am I making any sense? In the casino, this doesn't happen. So your risk to reward must be minimum of two to one, so that even if your trading strategy is not so great, even if you lose five, and even if your trading your trading strategy is 50-50, as long as you have a risk to reward of 2 to 1, meaning that for every trade you place, you make 200, for every trade you win, you make $200. And for every trade you lose, oh no, let's say our risk is $100 here, right? For every trade you place, you make $200. And for every trade you lose, you lose $100. So 5 times 2, if for instance we're winning 5 times, so that's $1,000. Okay? And five times the losing time will be that's that's five hundred dollars. So at the end of the day, with a strategy that only allows you win five percent of the time, you will still come out profitable with five hundred dollars. This is these are the differences between gambling and trading. I'm pretty certain you guys understand what I'm talking about. As forex traders, we have to move things in our favor. We have to always ensure, and this is exactly what I teach on the Forex Mastery Program. I keep talking about this because this is one of the best Forex courses out there. It will change your life. I teach you how to, to be a sniper trader, how to relax and allow the odds be in your favor before you click those buttons. You have to ensure that the odds are in your favor before what you click those buttons. That's exactly what I like to do. I'm not the kind of trader who just comes click, 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 because I know that the trader who clicks, click, and this is why I always discourage day trading, okay? Day traders usually tend to gamble a lot because emotions are high and this and that, and in the casino, you're drinking alcohol. and blah, blah, blah. The way the Forex Mastery teaches you how to trade, guy, you're probably trading three to four times a month and three out of those four trades are winners, okay? And when you win with the Forex Mastery, the way I teach you on the Forex Mastery, you win big. I'm talking 500 pips, 700 pips. You think I'm joking? Check my previous YouTube videos. Watch the way I analyze the market. I, I don't go for the small shit, boy. I go for the big boys. I like the big meat. Give me some big meat! Shit! Yeah. <laughs> so guys, I hope I've been able to shed some light 
on if trading is gambling. I hope I've been able to explain to you guys. For those of you guys who want the Forex Mastery course, the link is gonna be down there below. You know where to find it down below. Um, if you found this video very helpful, drop me a comment. Tell me your opinion. Do you think trading is gambling? Have you lost money? Did I make some sense to you guys? Have I educated you guys? Your comments will go a long way to helping this channel grow and they will help me to understand if you guys are learning and listening to my videos. All right, guys, once again, my name is Dap Wallace. I love you guys very much. Stay tuned for my subsequent videos. I'm here on YouTube to make it happen. I'm here to change your life. Take it easy and stay blessed. Peace.